Good morning, dear hearts. We are on review lesson 113. Please subscribe. Um, this is, I mentioned in another video from last year, I think, this is our deja vu review. We are going over these lessons again, and we will continue to. They are such beautiful lessons. This is such an amazing section of the course. I have had so many um, others comment about how lovely this particular section is in, in the comments from the from the videos and then some in-person uh, comments from classes as well. So today's two lessons. Remember, we are doing one lesson, the first lesson for five minutes in the morning as soon as we wake up and then the second lesson for at least five minutes before we lay our little pretty head upon that pillow and drift off into dreams. But um, these lessons we spend the five minutes considering them and seeing the value in them. And again, you know, remembering as the last paragraph of our introduction said that not to forget how little we have learned, but, and how much more we can learn now. As we review these lessons, we are given a second opportunity to look at them and to really imbibe them into our life and to see the, the truth in them and that how much they will impact our life if, if we believe them. So our first lesson for review, uh, and also hourly, of course, don't never, never forget the hourlies. Um, I am one self united with my creator. Serenity and perfect peace are mine because I am one self, big S self, completely whole at one with all creation and with God. I am whole because my father, our creator, our celestial parent, only has whole and complete thoughts. So we could also say that I am complete. I am completely complete and uh, with all of creation and with God. There, there's no separation between us. There is one. As I've mentioned in uh, many lessons in the past, there is one. One is the only number, not the loneliest number. One is the number that we strive to understand throughout this course, that there is one self, there is one God, there is one mind, there is one love, yes, Bob Marley, there is one idea that will bring us home, that is salvation, that is our freedom and our total and complete forgiveness. There is one, and we are that one. We are part of that one self because we are one with the one that created us from one whole thought. Now, I last year in doing these lessons, I was bringing in some of the lessons from the first 50. And for this lesson, I would say that lesson 30, that God is in everything I see because God is in my mind, would be a very good uh, anchor or companion to this lesson because God is in everything I see. God is in my mind and I am one self. I am that one mind united with my creator when I understand that indeed that is who, what I am. The second lesson that we are reviewing for today is salvation comes from my one self. See, see, one is everything <laughs> and everywhere. And, um, and again, some, some have not felt warm and fuzzy about that word salvation because it has brought back um, memories, remembrances of times gone by. The past is gone. It cannot touch me now. But of uh, religious teachings that were less than loving or how they experienced it. So the word salvation can be a trigger for some. So in place of that word, we can seriously use freedom or peace. My peace, my freedom comes from my one self. Peace comes from my one self. And from my one self, whose knowledge still remains within my mind, my one mind, I see God's perfect plan for my freedom perfectly fulfilled, for my peace perfectly fulfilled. 
God fulfills my peace perfectly because there is only peace from within the mind of God. There is no conflict. There is no need for conflict. There is never any need for conflict. Conflict comes from warring ideas. And where do those warring, conflicting ideas come from? Well, they come from the ego. These lessons are bringing us out of ego mind and ego land and into the oneness that we are meant to, uh, <laughs> I've got too many words, <laughs> that we are meant to experience because it has been established for us from one mind. Now, the lesson that I could see weaving into today's idea from our first 50 would be 36, that my holiness envelops everything I see. My salvation is, is my holiness. It is the recognition of my holiness. My freedom, my peace comes because I have recognized my true one self. And so when that is established, when that is remembered, because it all is about remembering, this is truly a course in remembering who and what we truly are, then I can certainly see that all of my salvation is enveloped within, all of my peace is enveloped within that one self. And that one self is indeed very holy because it comes from a whole thought. So we are, as I say from a Janetism, I am whole, holy, healthy, and healed, meaning my mind has been healed because it is only the mind that needs healing. And then the body, the body will follow. Um, it is the puppet, as it were, from the mind. It will, but whoever is pulling the strings, that's what, the, that's what we will experience. Um, and I just want to read from the text something that um, I incorporated in one of the past years that God created his sons, his children, by extending his thought and retaining the extension of his thought in his mind. So we are extended from God's mind, and yet we are still within his mind. All his thoughts are thus perfectly united with themselves and with each other. So I am oneself, united with my creator, and my freedom, my peace, and my salvation come from my one united self. The unification of all is indeed going to be our salvation, our freedom, our happiness, our joy. That's it for today, and I hope it helped. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Um, definitely please share. If you can share these videos with, with others that you think they will find them helpful and uplifting and maybe bring a smile, please do that. This is, this is part of our ministry, to share what we feel and, um, and what brings us peace and joy with love in us, with joy in us, we have no need but to extend it. So uh, smile because of that, take in a deep breath, release everything that is not in alignment with your love, your peace, and your joy, and pray for all of us, all of our unified selves to know who and what we are today. Namaste.